right, let's go. All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to another episode of Your Deck Live, a show where I play Your Deck live on stream. We got a, a repeat customer here, Diothar, one of our favorite submitters here on Your Deck Live, has submitted a Pioneer deck to us. Diothar is calling it Umberto, but in reality, it's Dredge will Dredge. And this deck's pretty awesome, actually. So we have a Dredge deck in Pioneer. Now, of course, there are no cards with Dredge that are actually legal in Pioneer. So what are we doing here? We're playing the Dredge base. We're playing Narc Amoeba and Prized Amalgam and Creeping Chill, the cards that are good when you flip them off the top of your deck. But instead of playing Dredge cards, we're just playing cards that flip them off the top of the deck. So we have Stitch Supplier, of course, mills multiple cards, and Gather the Pack mills five cards, puts a creature in your hand, possibly more, uh, Wayfinder, mills top four cards, gets a land. Rizzy Salvage, top five cards, land or creature. And then we have the, the cards we can hit to actually flip, as well as cards that are good to mill for other reasons. We have Scrabby Scrounger, obviously standard all-star here. Haunted Dead, and both these cards can help us get back our prized amalgams, which is pretty important. And we have Gurmag Angler, obviously we're delving, which is pretty, pretty good. And then one of the best cards in the deck... Driven Despair. This card is really, really good. Um, on turn four, this card can easily be draw six cards, mind twist your opponent. Um, so front side is two mana. All your creatures gain trample and the curious obsession ability. And then the back side from, from the graveyard is all creatures get menace, and whenever they hit an opponent, they discard a card. So we can mill this card, just play despair, or we can hard cast it from our hand. And this is a really, really powerful effect. Wipes a, a combo deck player's hand, helps refill our hand, pretty cool. Uh, we're also playing two copies of Decimator of the Provinces. This is like the Eldrazi version of um, Crater Hoof Behemoth. The Emerge cost is green, 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 six. That's a lot. Uh, that's a lot. But seven, seven comes into play. I'm sorry, it's a cast trigger, not a come to play trigger. All creatures get plus two, plus two, trample until end of turn, and it's also a trample haste itself. And that's a big boom boom. Is it necessary? I'm not sure. Um, I would say my, my one of my bigger points of contention with this deck, with, de with this deck list is Decimated Provinces and then Westvale Abbey. Um, while the ceiling on these cards is very, very high, obviously there's game-ending effects, I'm worried about the floor. I'm worried about drawing colorless land that doesn't cast my spells. I'm worried about drawing a 10 drop we can't cast so i think we're a little heavy on the game winners when we can just win the game with prize amalgams and creeping chills and driven to despair um but we'll see we'll see mana base a lot of fast lands is good land or waste overgrown tomb focusing mostly on golgari lands that was with some blue lands to cast narcomy and amalgam very important in your post sideboard games they cast they mulligan to five to find rest in peace you just cast prize amalgam and get them Simple as that. So, um, that's that. Cyborg's got... Alright, first off, Dio, talk to me. Why is Blight Beetle on our cyborg? What's that one for? We got only one Thought Seize. It's kind of weird. Uh, three pushes, two natural states. One of the better uh, enchantment killers. Can't kill Leyline, though, which concerns me. Um, is Nature's Claim legal in Pioneer? I don't think it is, right? Uh, three Ashiok Dream Render. Good against both ramp decks and other graveyard decks, and four Assassin's Trophies. Um, is Collector Oof legal? Not in Pioneer. Not in Pioneer. We're playing Pioneer. We were playing Modern before, but now we're playing Pioneer. So, I think I I have a little con some concern with the sideboard a little bit. But we're going to battle and just see how it goes. And we'll uh, we'll see. It's a powerful deck I've been wanting to try for a while. Um, decks like this have been floating on the fringes of the format for a little bit. And let's see how they go. Should be very good against uh, very good against blue white control, I would think. Satire Sphere Christmas cards went out on the twenty sixth, I believe. However long the mail takes. If you're domestic, probably a few days. If you're international, it could be forever. I have no idea. If you missed Mog Monday, uh, it goes up on YouTube tonight. Mog Monday I played Gob Pharaoh's Gift, Pioneer, pretty fun. Hard scales makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Remember, folks, check out my sponsors. The stream's brought to, brought to you by Cardboard Live. Changing the way you watch magic on the internet. If you're a content creator, please get involved with them. You see the deck list on the overlay and uh, all the cool features. Pretty awesome. 
Check it out, Cardboard.Live. Again, if you're a content creator, please get involved with them because they are awesome. Oh boy, first hint. First hint is is a hand. Is a hand of magic cards. Not quite. Not quite. Mulligan. Diothar, did you put any lands in this deck? You sure? All right. Um, we're on the draw. I mean, we're going to keep this. And we're going to pitch the Haunted Dead. And probably prize the Malgum. Let's see. Definitely Haunted Dead. So we should have to draw a land. We have Supplier and Gather the Pack, which is pretty great. Um, keeping the Amalgam is good for, for any... Uh, if we hit a Haunted Dead. I'm going to get, get this, this kind of Scrounger, actually. So we're going to draw a land in our first two draw steps. That's all we got to do. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Boreal Grazer. Which of Boreal Grazer deck is this? Don't know. Don't know. Oh, we did it. But it can't cast Grizzly Salvage. I mean, I don't like saying that um, I'm getting proven right here in the first uh, first section here. But I did say I was very concerned with Westvale Abbey screwing up our mana. Westvale Abbey is more likely to lose you the game on turn two than it is to win you the game later on. You're going to lose more games than you're going to win, which is why I'm concerned about it. So, all right, Narcomib is here. That's, that's cool. And that's fine. Not a bad start. We get to gather the pack. All right, they have a Lotus Field deck, and they're on a pretty good hand here. They have turn two Lotus Field. Might be in trouble, folks. That is a big fish. Grazer having reach? Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Just the hidden keyword. All right, we're just going to gather that back here. See what turns up. We got Creeping Chill, Amalgam, Seder Wayfinder. All right, so we're going to put the Wayfinder into our hand. Hit this Creeping Chill. Attack for one. And pray they can't do dirty things to us next turn. Ideal scenario is Wayfinder into Angler next turn, probably. Oh, I have Despian stage, too? Oh, my God. And then I'll go off next turn. I'll be amazed. Watery Grave. All right. Um, not thrilled. Wayfinder. All right. Swamp is fine. Hit nothing of relevance for Mills, but that's okay. I mean, our hand is okay. It's not great. This is turn three. I mean, we're, we're gonna have a lot of power play. I mean, their, their hand was just actually perfect. I mean, they're on the play. They turn two Lotus Field, turn three double Lotus Field. They're probably gonna turn four kill us, which really is, you know, on the play and Pioneer is above the bar by a lot. So, making use of Reach, blocking Narcomoeba, adorable. Three, four, five, six. All right, I mean. Copy Lotus Field. And I might need to grab The Hobbit for a little reading here. Right, Zibby? I believe we were reading the Riddles in the Dark chapter last stream. We can pick up that where we left off. Now certainly Bilbo was in what is called a... Okay, never mind. Didn't, didn't enough, didn't have enough, didn't have enough. Unfortunately, I don't know what we're going to do uh, to finish them off here. Because so we're probably... I guess we just salvage. We can salvage into a haunted dead. That'd be cool. Where's Zibby? Um, he's there. Taking a bath or just doing something. Just doing whatever a hamster does, you know? 
Oh, I could have despaired them? Crap. I didn't think there was a reason to do this pre-combat, but you're right. Despair is the important card. I screwed up. Alright. I, I didn't want to reveal to them what their life total might be if they want to chump or block a 1-1. One, one. So, like, now if we hit multiple creeping chills, we, like, kill them. So if they had known that, you know, maybe it's, like, better to have them not know that, but Despair was definitely a reason to, to hit to Salvage first. So if we hit Despair, I get to feel despaired. We did not. We did it. We, we did a creeping chill though. Not a great mill either. Um, all right. I want to get green sources in play in case we draw in case we draw decimator providences. So sanctum creeping chill. All right. I mean, they have triple lotus field. I can't imagine they don't kill us next turn. Just can't fathom. With ten mana, they can't kill us next turn. Back to the Hobbit. Now certainly Bilbo was in what is called a tight place. They just copy Dig Through Time with double cast? These people. But you must remember, it was not quite so tight for him as it would have been for me or you. Hobbits are not quite like ordinary people, and after all, if their holes are nice cheery places and properly aired, quite different from the tunnels of the goblins, still, they are more used to tunneling than we are, and they do not easily lose their scent of direction underground, not when their heads have recovered from being bumped, and they can also move very quietly and hide easily, and recover wonderfully from falls and bruises, and they have a fund of wisdom and wise sayings that men have mostly never heard or have forgotten long ago. I should not have liked to have been in Mr. Baggins's place all the same. The tunnel seemed to have no end. All he knew was that it was still going down steadily and keeping in the same direction in spite of a twist or a turn or two. There were passages leading off to the side every now and then, as he knew by the glimmer of his sword or could feel with his hand on the wall. Of those, he took no notice, except to hurry past for fear of goblins or half-imagined dark things coming out of them. On and on he went, and down and down, and still he heard no sound of anything except the occasional whir of a bat by his ears, which startled, startled him at first, till it became too frequent to bother. I do not know how long he kept on like this, hating to go on, not daring to stop, on and on, until he was tireder than tired. It seemed like all the way to tomorrow, and over it to the days beyond. Suddenly, without any warning, he tried to splash into water. Ugh! It was icy cold. That pulled him up sharp and short. He did not know whether it was just a pool in the path, or the edge of an underground stream that crossed the passage, or the brink of a deep, dark, subterranean lake. The sword was hardly shining at all now. He stopped, and he could hear, when he listened hard, the drips, drips, drips from an unseen roof to the water below, but there seemed to be no other sort of sound. So it's a pool, a lake, and not an underground river, he thought. Still, he not dare to wade out into the dark, the darkness. He could not swim, and he thought, too, of nasty, slimy things with big, bulging, blind eyes wriggling in the water. There are strange things living in the pools and lakes in the hearts of the mountains. Fish whose fathers swam in, and goodness only knows how many years ago, and never swam out, while their eyes grew bigger and bigger and bigger from trying to see in the blackness. Also, there are other things more slimy than fish. Even in the tunnels and caves of the goblins, have made for themselves, there are other living things, living unbeknownst to them, that have snuck in from outside to lie up in the dark. Some of these caves, too, go back to their beginnings, to the ages before goblins, who only widened them and joined them up with passages, and the original owners are still there in odd corners, slinking and nosing about. And deep down here, by the dark water Wub! Thanks to Risa, I appreciate that. Deep down here, by the dark water, 
lived old Gollum, a small, slimy creature. I don't know where he came from, nor who or what he was. He was Gollum, a fa as dark as darkness, except for two round, pale eyes in his thin face. He had a little boat, which he rowed about quietly on the lake. For lake it was, wide and deep and deadly cold. Are we dead? Alright, we're dead. Alright. Alright, you win. The turn five kill? Pretty lame. Pretty lame. Did y'all enjoy story time? Raise your hand and chat if you like story time. I'm, I'm sorry, stop, stop, stop. Keep or mulligan? Story time. Keep or mulligan? Alright, so kind of lame. Turn five kill on the play. Um, I wish we had more thought seizes. I wish we had more thought seizes. Um, yeah. There's got to be four thought seizes on the board. Just has to be. Not even close. Um, nothing else really does much, honestly. Ashiok doesn't really do a ton. Like, it can slow down dig through time, maybe, but it just isn't very good. Links are allowed if they're clean and related to what we're doing. What's our weakest card? What's our weakest card? I think it's just Decimator. I mean, a De Decimator actually can kill them quick. Is stream title wrong? Yeah, you're correct. I didn't do that yet. All right. Um, I kind of want to cut the 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 Westvale Abbey. I just don't think it's ever gonna matter. It's barely half a land. Yeah, screw it. We have four salvage, four wayfinder to find lands. Yeah, if you're sitting, if you're just sitting. Welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. This is your deck. Live a show where I play your deck live on stream. This is Diothar's Dredgeless Dredge deck. We need more. We need more thoughts. He's on a sideboard. We need more thoughts. He's on a sideboard. Probably over. I don't like the natural states very much. I think a trinity trophy is enough. God damn it. So we drew the one thoughtsies, but only one land. Uh, yeah, we got, we got a mulligan in the sand. Deck mulligans very well, obviously, because there's cards you want to put in, back in the deck. So, like, this Narcan is basically worthless. Or right, we can keep this. Um, it's not awesome, but it's fine. And then we have two green for Decimator so far, which is kind of cool, so... Is there any way to get rid of Lotus Field, given the Hexproof and Pioneer? Not really. Prized Amalgam. Um, I guess we salvage before we gather, because we want to possibly hit things. We'll say go, we'll do this in their second main phase. Gives them less info. Sylvan Scrying. Mm. This has got to be good. It's got to be a good one here. It is Haunted Dead, Prize the Malgum Scrounger. That's pretty good. Actually, that's pretty good. I want this land our waste because it's, it's our third green source. And all these cards want to go in the graveyard anyway. And then... That Haunted Dead is... Yeah, it's actually a really good hand. It's hand panned out extremely well for us. So now we get to... That sucks. Now we get to end step, or whatever, second main phase. Haunted Dead, Amalgam, Amalgam. Then we can Decimator... This costs five off of the Haunted Dead. So you can turn five Decimator them, which is probably going to be fast enough. So, and then we definitely want a Haunted Dead over, yeah, we're going to play Tapland here as I go. And, and end of main phase, Haunted Dead.
So they got the uh, they got the thespian stage. So they already have the lotus field. All right, so cool. So they didn't they didn't use their two mana, which is really good for us. So we're gonna haunt a dead. Pitching Prized Amalgam and Narc Amoeba. Okay, so now we have nine power in play. And if Wayfinder finds us a land, we kill him next turn. Also, we can Wayfinder into a... Uh, maybe we actually set... We want to gather the pack, actually. Because we, we, we have five looks at hitting our Driven to Despair. I want more Driven to Despairs in this deck. Card's so good. All right, we did not hit it. We have Angler or Wayfinder. You just cast Angler, actually. It's even better. Reaping Chill, yes. So just dead next turn. Much better hand this game. Um, I guess Angler guarantees Decimator next turn anyway. So... if we Wayfinder and whiff on a land, then uh, that sucks, so. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. Cool. All right. That's a lot of power on turn four, not gonna lie. Can you kill me? Uh-oh. Uh oh. I'll start reading again. I swear to God, I'll do it. We had just met Gollum. All right, here we go. So they're trying to turn for me here, which is not cool. Deep down by the dark water lived old Gollum, a small, slimy creature. I don't know where he came from nor who or what he was. He was Gollum, as dark as darkness, except for two big, round, pale eyes in his thin face. He had a little boat, which he rowed about quite quietly on the lake, for lake it was, wide and deep and deadly cold. He paddled it with large feet, dangling over the side, but never a ripple did he make. Not he. He was looking out, of his pale lamp-like eyes for blind fish, which he liked to grab with his long fingers, quick as thinking. He liked meat, too. Goblin he thought good, when he could get it, but he took care they never found him out. He would throttle them from behind if they ever came down alone anywhere near the edge of the water while he was prowling about. They seldom did, for they had a feeling that something unpleasant was lurking down there, down at the very roots of the mountain. They had come on the lake when they were tunneling down long ago, and they had found they could go no further. So there their road ended in that direction, and there was no reason to go that way, unless the great goblin sent them. Sometimes he took a fancy for fish from a lake, and neither goblin nor fish came. But they're trying to really get a turn for us here. Actually, Gollum lived on a slimy island of rock in the middle of the lake. He was watching Bilbo now, from the distance with his pale eyes like telescopes. Bilbo could not see him, but he was wondering a lot about Bilbo, for he could see he was no goblin at all. Gollum got into his boat and shot off from the island, while Bilbo was sitting on the brink altogether fluxed at the end of his way and his wits. Suddenly, up came Gollum, and whispered, and hissed. Ain't nobody got time for this. All right, pretty fun first match there. Um, got to have some more thoughts he uses in our deck. We had a turn five kill, and they just turned four at us. Not really much we can uh, we can do here. Uh, take your time. Probably won't be legal six months from now in the Pioneer format. The Dig Through Time is not a not a reasonable magic card. 
I think this deck wants four driven to despair, honestly. Like, you just want to see it every single game. That's my initial impression, is that we want driven to despair in the maximum amount. If we had driven to despair either of those games, we probably win. Cards just too good. I'm not gonna look spoilers spoilers right now, I gotta focus on what we're doing. Alright. Oh my god, another one lander. Uh yeah, we gotta ship this one too, Mulligan. Man, you're you're kill Deothar, you your decks just have the worst luck, my friend. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Alright, there we go. Uh, we're going to keep this. We're going to ship Narc Amoeba. And probably the Amalgam, I guess. I think 20 lands is fine. Like, Amalgam's only good if we hit uh, Haunted Dead. Yeah. I'm going to ship that. Mm. Got a hand. Got a hand. Top three. Driven to despair. Got and now we're gonna draw all of our driven despairs and nothing else. Cause I say we should add more. Oh boy. Lumbering falls. Okay. Prize the Malcolm. Did I scry you to the bottom? Damn scry bug. Bombs away. We hit Sanctum, Decimator, Wayfinder, Scrounger, Supplier. It's pretty bad. This is Wayfinder, I think. Not great. Not great. It's the Lotus Field deck again. Cool. All right. That's fun. That's fun. We got a little chance for vengeance here. All right. I mean, we're going to Wayfinder and look for some lands, make some land drops, try and get these uh, some creatures in play, mill some stuff, big money. And yeah, a Creeping Chill. It's not the end of the world. All right, I mean, even if uh, we don't do anything else, we can at least, like, Driven next turn, and we Despair also. All right, there's Sylvan Scrying. I mean, right now, Despair is a, a Mine Rot for two from the Graveyard. We might actually just Driven, try and draw a land, then we can get the, the Scrounger in play. We're probably just super dead this game. Our hand's way too bad. Salvage. All right, I guess we salvage. Oh, uh, that's a lot of lands. All right. Um, I don't think our life total actually matters. So, so scrounger is just scrounger by itself, which kind of sucks. We can draw two here. We can make them discard two here. Which might actually just help their digs. Or we can put a scrounger in play. These stack, right? So we could actually scrounger. No, but then I can't. This isn't in the graveyard yet. Yeah, so if we had two despair in the graveyard, we could we could wipe their hand next turn. All right, I'm gonna cast driven. And then maybe next turn we can double hit on the uh, on the despairs. Try to make him discard four cards. Haunted Dead. Let's 
So they discard four cards. It's not much of a clock, though, honestly. Or I could just bomb off some gather the packs, try and get lucky. Man. They discard four cards. They still have six mana next turn. They can dig through time. Tough games here. Tough games. Minus four is five. If we cast Haunted Dead, then draw a land next turn, we can kill them with Decimator. If we can, like, deter them from killing us for a turn or two. Alright, let's just double despair. The thing is, we're so far from killing them that, like, I don't even know how good this is. Discard Expansion Explosion, Ral, Double Cast, Hidden Stirrings. Alright. Their hand must be insane. Like, those are the cards they discarded. What's up, Ripper? How's it going, everyone? Welcome to the stream. If you're just tuning in, your deck live. A show where I play your deck live on stream. We're playing against Lotus Field every round. We're playing Diothar's Dreadless Reg deck. Uh, we are 0 1. Um, our hands have not been great so far. I'm not going to lie. Discard Thespian Stage. Sure. Double Cast. Sure. We're a little short on time today. We're not going to waste our time. There's no way that they don't win the game here after resolving two dig through times with mana floating and two lotus fields in play. So that's fine. Our hand was pretty bad that game. Um, we'll draw a better hand. We'll draw a better hand. All right. Uh, same thing. There's got to be four thoughts in the board. We already discussed this. Um... We're going to Thoughtseize. Yeah, we're going to cut an Angler. Sure. Haven't really had a good hand yet, honestly. I guess the one good hand we have, they just turned four to us in the play. So, what's up, Jacko? How's it going, my friend? Happy to have you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Try and dredge a little bit here. Doing a little dredging. Hey, this hand is better. Kind of, not really. Oh. This hand's actually pretty bad. Like, we don't want Creeping Shell in our hand. We don't want Haunted Dead in our hand. We don't want Prize of the in our hand, really. And Distributed Despair is fine. This hand's pretty bad. Maybe we should mulligan. Like, if his salvage isn't good, our hand is just atrociously bad. Like, we're, like, hard casting Amalgam on, on three and Haunted Dead on four. I'm going to mulligan. Oh, man. Mm. You're as cold as ice. Um. 
I mean, this hand has to draw land. Then we're going to four. Like, a lot of our cards in our hand just don't matter. Like, we're going to draw cards like Creeping Chill. that don't do anything in our hand. We got to be fast. This hand sucks. All right, I'm sure I'm again. Go to four. I guess we keep these. Not ideal. Not ideal. Uh, I'd say we're running a tiny bit below average so far. Um, yes, everyone be nice. Well, the thing is that the, the bad draws like Creeping Chill and stuff are just a reason why we should be nice. Why should we be mulliganing aggressively? Because we mulligan to five. If we put two Creeping Chills in the bottom, those weren't doing it. Those were blank cards anyway. So we don't mind we don't mind uh, mulling pretty aggressively. Big money. Oh my god. So I could just leave this in the graveyard. Jeez. So, mill five, nothing. Glimpse the Unthinkable is legal. We could be Glimpse the Unthinkable ourselves instead of playing like the Gather the Pack stuff. And that's really bad for us. Okay, so that's, that's not bad. We can play this and Angler probably. Watery Grave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. And for a moment of four, we're doing stuff. I guess there are three us here. Please turn three us. I would love to see it. The complaint equity is just so high. Please. What? <laughs> okay. I guess. Um, they fumigated us. Was that even good? <laughs> like. Alright, so. I think we're in a haunted dead and just mind twist them for two, I guess. We can gather here. Can we just gather? There's only one spell in the graveyard. I might have screwed up. I might exile the... Yeah, I exiled the spell over a land by accident. I don't think making them discard two cards wins the game. Stitch of Suppliers, sure. Okay, that was pretty good. That was actually really good. Navis Supplier is going to hit big for us. Hit big. Huge. Humongous. 
The biggest hits. No. Yeah, the wrath wasn't bad at all. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't me going. Oh my god, they rat us. It was more like. Oh my god, they rat us. What? Sylvan's crying. Sure. Yeah, that's being staged. Yep, 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 yep. So they have four cards in hand. We can take two of them if you want to. Seder Wayfinder. Actually, no, we can't. I'm sorry. It's not in the graveyard. Hello, opponent. All right, Wayfinder for a land, and cast Driven. We hit nothing of consequence. Cast Driven, attack, and pray they don't kill me next turn. We're probably dead. Turn five, and they have two Lotus Fields. It's been fun so far. <sighs> I don't want to do Golem voice. I don't want to do the Golem voice. All right, we're conceding. I'm not wasting our time here. All right. Um, not a very fun league so far. Not a very fun league. We mulligan to four basically every game, and we've been turn five basically every game by the Lotus Field deck. Um, I think we are running below average, but part of the the cost of putting cards like Decimator of the Provinces and uh, the Colorless Land in your deck is that you're you're making your deck less consistent, and we're already struggling with consistency anyway. Um, that's rough. That's rough. So I would say so far, not happy with Decimator of Provinces or the Westvale Abbey. I could see playing one Decimator, but... I think playing more than one is pretty crazy. I do think Driven to Despair is very good. Um, I'm also just wondering if, like, if Glimpse the Unthinkable isn't just better than these Gather the Pack effects, you know? Like, Glimpse mills 10 cards. Gather the Pack mills 5 cards. You know? And then, obviously, the, the Thought Season of Sideboard's a thing. Oh, Glimpses isn't legal? Oh, I'm sorry, Breaking. Breaking, the other one, the split card. Breaking is only eight. That might not be good enough. You're correct. Um, breaking and Entering. All right, I mean, this hand's terrible. We're going to mulligan. Hello. This hand is great. So we're going to keep this. going to ship the Creeping Chill. Island, go. Alright, this should be a good matchup for us. Blue Eye Control deck. This should be great for us. Could have salvaged a response to the uh, charm, maybe. Narset Parter Veils. That's fine, actually. Narset hits. A syncopate. All right, big money. Not really. We hit nothing of consequence. It's okay that we have Wayfinder and Supplier. Okay. 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 Um, supplier first. Mills Gather Decimator Land. Alright. Wayfinder. 
Overgrown Tomb, Milling, and Nork Amoeba. Alright. Not amazing, but not the worst. They had a cast out. So now they have syncopate and cast out. And field of ruin. And we have a Gurmag Angler. So, I mean, we're going to attack this Narset, I think, because we want to get the Narset off the board so we have Driven to Despair in our hand. They have seven cards in hand. We're probably going to... Uh, be like end step grizzly salvaging do we cast angler i'm not really sure just i can see what happens um i think you get back two at narset and one at them um we play angler here and they can like cast out it. It's like not that bad. Um, it's pretty easy to syncopate. Also, they have a wrath. It's pretty bad too. Um, I'm gonna exile land, land, land. Spell, spell, black. And then I guess a random creature is fine. Okay. They wrath us. We have salvage. We have driven despair. Cast out, sure. Captain Jack, 36 month resub. Three years. I'm sorry the alerts aren't working. I don't know why they're not working. But I appreciate you, Captain Jack. So we're going to bomb this salvage, and if they counter it, we get to maybe Driven to Despair them, which would be insane. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yes, two spells in the graveyard for Mastery and creatures for uh, Scrounger. God, you love to see it. Come on, let's go. Driven to despair all day. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when Citrus Supplier, Seder Wayfinder, and Dark Amoeba come for you? Just casual draw three, discard three. Ouch, they say in chat. Ouch, you wowie. The big pig. Discard Hollowed Fountain. Discard Cast Out. Discard. Oh, that's it. Ho cast Out, Hollowed Fountain, Cast Out. Take two. Stitch Supplier. Dig through time on your main phase. You have a great time with that, all right? Then I got some Haunted Deads in the graveyard, too. Nice, nice, nice. This pig costs 9, 8, 7. Yeah, we're pretty far from pigging, but... Supreme Verdict? Sure. Triggers? Yes, please. Any amalgams? No, but that's okay. 
Two cards left. Yeah, I just want Driven to Despair every single turn of every single game ever. All right, so we got Scrounger and Haunted Dead. So we can Haunted Dead them uh, for sure. We're going to cast uh, Wayfinder. Oh, my God, we another Amalgam. Oh, we're doing it. We are doing it now. Um, okay. Let's just cast. No, oh, let's pitch an argument. This is fine. Let's play a land. Sigo. Oh, Scrounger too, actually. Never mind. Ship. This is the matchup we're looking for. This is where it gets fun. We had no fun playing against the Lotus Field deck over and over again, but this is fun. It's a fairy hero of Dominaria. LOL. You are dead. Also, they have settled the wreckage, in which case we are dead. But we're not playing around it, so. Alright, uh, post combat main phase. Haunted Dead, discarding Amalgam, and Narco Amoeba. And Scrounger. Off of Narcomiva. The question now is, are we going to play around Settle the Wreckage? If so, how hard? Because we can pick him. Can pig him. We can give him the old piggy. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I can cast stuff a scrounger. It's pretty good. So we're gonna attack with a lot of stuff. We're gonna leave back probably like the pig itself and like an amalgam or two. Y'all have Bruce. That was a Bruce. Got Bruce for days. Emerge. Cast trigger. Cast trigger on the pig. A uh, little white screen scoop of death. Love it. Love it. All right, so we're going to board in... We're gonna board in probably four assassins trophies. Call it a day against like against the. I guess natural state's better than that. For rest in peace, they could have Ashiok though. Trophy kills everything. Trophy's pretty uh, all encompassing. We'll cut like. I don't think you want thoughts these, honestly. We can't board out too much, or our deck ceases to function. You know. Let's cut a pig. It's kind of an angler. It might actually be all the anglers. It's so bad against Teferi. It's so bad against Wrath. Yeah, do after this match I'll do it. Um, first thoughts he's better than the fourth trophy. Mm, I don't know. If I knew they had rest in peace, I would bring a natural state. But they could have, if they have Ashiok, then trophies. Probably more important though. The Ashiok hit's pretty brutal. Let's try this. I don't know how much graveyard hate there actually is in this format anyway. Like, I mean, being played at least. The other it's fine. Don't worry about it. Hmm. <laughs> this hand's good. We got a good hand, folks. We're keeping. We got a functional hand. Let's do this. Don't you dare rest in peace, mate. Don't you dare. Uh, 
All right. Uh, creepy chill still. I feel like getting value off gather the pack is actually pretty cool. I'm just gonna cast the wayfinder. If I knew we didn't have syncopate, we could cast grounder and be a little like nitty, but this is fine. They counter it. They counter it. Hit me. Big money. It's like playing a slot machine. Oh my god. We get driven to despair. That's cool. Alright, we'll take the Westvale Abbey because it actually has value in this matchup. It's making 1 1s. So it's actually fine. The game goes really long, which hopefully it doesn't, but. Don't you rest in peace, me. Narset. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. They hit Teferi Time Raveler. Not a problem. Alright, um... Yeah, it's the old gather the pack. Not thrilled. Alright, it's a plier. That's pretty cool. And a Creeping Chill. It's fine. It's not amazing, but it's fine. Creeping Chill again. Right. Made a Scrounger too. That's pretty nice. Poke Narcissus if I can't use it without, without uh, losing it. We have a Driven to Despair and a Scrounger in the Graveyard. So not like the best pile of cards, but... Oh god, they hit Rest in Peace. What a jerk. Alright, well, we got some, uh, we got some small ball work to do here. Hardcast Haunted Dead, Hardcast Scrounger, Hardcast Creeping Chill. Let's do it. They're at an effective 12, so we'll see if we can do it. Sure. All right. Seder Wayfinder? Nah, it's Haunted Dead all the way. Go get him, buddy. Three power over two bodies. Don't you wrath me. They don't have Verdict next turn. I'm pretty sure you win. Golgari Charm is okay. It's The minus one minus one is not very good. It kills all our stuff, too. God damn it. Why are you like this? Wayfinder whiffs. Uh oh. I don't know if you can beat Castle Ardenvale. <laughs> Honestly. Um, Alright. Attack the fairy. Not feeling too great about this one. We're sure on the next game. Beating Rest in Peace and Teferi and Castle Ardenvale with our motley crew of crap is not really uh, appealing. Even if we manage to spike Assassin's Trophy, they just have a million mana. We gotta rebuild completely. Just wasting time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Alright, that's fine. Rest in Peace, Jerk, found. Um... So maybe we want, like, I mean, I'm going to bring in two natural states. I'm going to cut two assassins trophies. Because natural states are so much better against uh, Rest in Peace. Thoughtseize. We just don't want to take my engine apart too much, you know? It's fine. Why do we delete OK Boomer? It's just a... Just a joke, right? Alright, um... Yeah, we're fine. 
I'm not worried. They don't have rest in peace. We're, we're in great shape. Um, come on! Alright, gun five. Man, we, we this is like the one land every time deck ever. Like what what's happening here? Alright, we're going to four. This isn't even good. Caustic caterpillar. Alright, we're gonna keep. Creeping chill, overgrown tomb, haunted dead. <laughs> I mean, with some good with some good dredges here, we could still win this game easily. Let's do it. It's called Narc Amoeba. Prize the Malgum. Prize the Malgum. Prize the Malgum. Bang. Close. And step opt. All right. No rest in peace. Love to see it. We were one card off. Oh. The swings. The swings are brutal. I know what cost the caterpillar is. I just want to know why you want to play it. The swings are brutal. Just flip flop that salvage and that narc amoeba. Oh my god. The hand goes from being in awful to insane. We'd have five or four power in play. Would have drawn Grizzly Salvage. Oh man. Spinning the wheel here. Narset, sure. That's gonna help find Rest in Peace pretty well. It's a fairy hero of Dominaria. That's, yeah, I mean, Caterpillar's pretty slow, though. I think I kind of get it. It's cute. Alright, go get him, uh, Haunted Dead. Swings are real. Sure. No Narset. Interesting. Supplier's not bad either. Alright. I mean, big money, no whammies. Uh, very powerful. Very powerful. Oh, yeah, you're good too. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, use the ability. I said always yes. Always yes means always. Not sometimes, not maybe. It means always, every time. I think I'd rather, rather play Rex Sage than Cost the Caterpillar. God, what a jerk. Alright, I mean, we're shoving all in here. If they don't have a uh, another verdict, we could definitely win this game. We've got 3 6 9 power in play. So, it's on them to have another verdict. Narset finds Narset. That's like good and bad. It's good because they missed, but they didn't cast it though. Why didn't they cast it? Why didn't they cast it? That's weird. Like a Zorius charm, maybe? Maybe we could have cast together the pack pre-combat because we probably want to draw prize the Malgum with the rest in peace and play. Uh, that's fun. Damn, creeping chill. There's no subtlety here. We are putting everything in play and trying to kill him. Uh. 
Uh, I guess we draw Assassin's Trophy. Assassin's Trophy. Uh, ah, nope, 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 nope. Okay. Um, I guess we killed the fairy. Honestly, it's better than not killing the fairy. Channel points are a new feature in the stream. The more you watch, the more points you get. You can redeem your points for stuff. Uh, right now, the you blew it thing is the only unique one, but I'll make more at some point in the future. Hashtag soon. All right, I don't play anymore. You win. You win, opponent. You win. All right. Um, this has been a pretty rough league. I'm not going to lie. Uh, um, rest in pieces and mulligans to four. The deck certainly feels inconsistent. Um... The wide variety of good versus bad hands, the the, 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 the gap is unbelievably wide. Um, like, if your hands are good, I don't know how you can lose. Like, turn one supplier, narc amoeba, amalgam, amalgam, go. You know, but... Yeah, there are there are a lot of um there are definitely a lot of cards we just don't want to draw into our opening hand. That is definitely very true. A drunk fool, two dollars. I'm sorry the alerts aren't working. Thank you, I appreciate that. So yeah, this is really It's pretty wild. And I'd say we're on right now we're on the pretty bottom part of the uh of the the wide, you know, variety of, of results. The big pig. This hand's fine. I'm not loving the, the Gurmag Anglers. Like, I don't want that stupid uh, blue adventure card. Like the... Just the, the mill four creature. Uh, ooh, there's no brutalities on our board. Brutality would be really good in our sideboard. Uh oh, it's Mog Monday. Alright. I mean, Wayfinder is obviously good against Founders, you Denison. That part's nice. I forgot to do the, the thing. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do the thing. The I'll do I'll do the thing in a, after this match. I'm sorry if I forgot again. Goblin Pile Driver Mog Monday. Here we go. He missed Mog Monday. It was earlier today. It up on YouTube tonight. Driven to despair. All right. Goblin Pile Driver all day. Cast the damn spell, Magic Online. <sighs> Am I the other person who has this problem? Like, does, does that white screen happen to anyone else? Is it just me? Please let me know if it's if you have it if you have it too. All right, Haunted Amalgam is nice. That's a good pickup. That's a really good pickup. Because it didn't used to happen. In the last like month, it's been happening a lot. Legion Loyalist. Crap. Th 
Throne of the God Pharaoh. Many friends step. Each opponent loses life. Equal the number of tap creatures you control. All right. Um, so everything has first strike and trample. We're just, we're just freaking dead here. Yeah, we're just dead. I guess we can, like, block. <clears throat> and then we can, like, angler next turn. We can't block the power driver, though. Oh, my God. The token can't block either. <laughs> oh man, we're uh, we're getting no breaks today. We're gonna exile. Oh, we're just dead. Oh, <sighs> kill me. Kill me, Smalls. Um, all right. Let's bring some pushes in. I would say the big pig is not necessary. Um, I kind of like the anglers. I would say Scrounder is not great against them. That's fine. Their hand was like, it wasn't great, but it was definitely solid. Uh, Legion Loyalist, don't really think that card is very good, but if your opponent's trying to block you and they have no removal, yeah, it's good. If we can kill a Pile Driver or a Legion Loyalist, I think we're probably, we had, we, had, we had everything in the world that game. Like, we were going to have double, double Amalgam, a Haunted Dead, a Token, an Angler, but we were just dead on turn four, and we just couldn't do anything. So, like, you know, our hand was definitely fine. That wasn't great, but it was fine that game, but... Cyborg needs some work, too. Um, I don't like Ashiok that much. Wayfinder, sure. Since fun. Let's plays. Plays. On the play, obviously, is uh is being is pretty big too. No one drop. Ooh. All right, go get him, Seder Wayfinder. Blooming Marsh Brick. Hmm. I mean, if if Ashiok's that good at milling, should it just be in the main deck? You know, like stuff a, a three mana card that doesn't affect the board and mills through, mills only four cards just doesn't seem great. All right, Goblin Pile Driver, sure. Um, we can angler this turn, right? With the grizzly salvage, that seems nice. Salvage says, "Narc amoeba angler supplier." All right, suppliers. Yeah, but it has to like survive the turn too, you know. I almost don't mind the angler. We can just double angle. So you get one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's good. Like Angler seems particularly good against them. Angler is a big boy. So everything but yeah, whatever it doesn't matter. Sure. All right. Not an ideal setup for us. It's not really like using the graveyard that well, but uh, a Quiven eight month resub. Quiven says, "Jim, I just had my first daughter last month. It's been quite a new experience. Lots of sleepless nights. I'm a YouTube watcher. Your content has been one of the things keeping me sane. Appreciate all the hard work and the, he the level headed opinions. Thank you, my friend. Congrats on your daughter. That's awesome. I skipped that part. You know, I met Nicole when John was 
two and a half, three. So I've known John since he was three. And John's nine now. So I've been a stepdad for, you know, essentially like five years. So I skipped the very beginning part of having a kid. You know, and probably in the next year or so, Nicole, are, Nicole and I are going to have a kid. So I'm a little, a little, a little weary of that part of the sleepless nights and the vomiting and stuff. I kind of skipped all that, so I'm not really looking forward to it. But I also am too. So, Godspeed, Godspeed to you. Uh, all right. Um, he was basically an adult. Yes, basically an adult. All right. So, I mean, the fish is coming in. Don't forget the poop. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, Zibby, Zibby, Zibby poops, poops a lot. I mean, I enjoy being a, a dad a lot. I mean, you know, John's John's great. You know, I, we have John's, I have John's hockey game. I gotta leave soon, actually. Um, you know, I enjoy playing hockey with him and doing all the fun stuff with him. But the pooping and the like, the, the dirty stuff, like that's usually more of Nicole's. Nicole's field of expertise than mine. Uh, so we can just ship everything here and play the tap land. The hand has been pretty awkward, I'm not gonna lie, but I mean Nicole does better with that, probably because she's been through it before and I haven't, which makes sense, but Oh, uh, I don't know why the dark muted attack. I'm I'm so stupid. I, I just I just didn't. I'm stupid. She just, just didn't attack. You become immune to poop pretty quickly. I mean, Zibby poops everywhere. Zibby is, isn't like poop consistently, but if he's sitting on my lap for an hour or two, he has to poop, he'll just poop. And he poops like, they're like little pellets, but like like 15 pellets. He just, he just shits. He just lets it go. So yeah, they should be at 14. That's an oopsie. This Westvale Abbey might actually come into play here, honestly. This is a very, uh, Kind of a weird hand. Yeah, I'm sure baby poop's a lot worse, obviously. Uh, these are future sight. Poop is better than vomit, yeah. Yeah, vomit's pretty gross. They're coming in. This is this is gutsy. What are they doing here? I'm blocking, whatever. Show me what you got. Yep, they are Future Sight and Archimibus. They got the Cleave? Oh, they got the Cleave. Yeah, that makes sense. That's fine. Cleave's pretty good. Even if they had the Cleave, it still kills the, the Pile Driver, which is pretty important. So, if they have to waste their whole turn playing Ember Cleave and they lose a Goblin in play, they have Searing Blood? Alright. Sure. You live your life, my friend. And a post-combat bushwhacker. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Oh, my God. I don't know if we can run any worse, honestly. <laughs> like, we are running really bad. Uh, all right. I mean, we're going to set up for Westvale Abbey, I guess. We are 0-3. We're having a rough time here. We're having a rough time. Ormandal. Like, any creature I could have cast there would have been so good. So you could Ormandal next turn. But, now we can't. Um, I think we're descending. They don't know... Um, they don't know how bad I want to keep creatures in play. So the Wayfinder trading with the Bushwhacker is like, looks bad for them, but it's actually good for them. Raminap Ruins, Castle Emberhearth. Here it comes. 
Hazaret the Fervent with two cards in hand. I don't even know what's happening. Larry Legend, thanks to Risa. Appreciate that. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Somebody help me. Um, all right, attack. I need an adult. Imagine if they actually had a shock in their hand and they were just slow rolling to block me and blow me out in combat. I would love that. That'd be so awesome. All right, well, now we're revealing that we have Ormondal. I mean, they're also just dead on board. So, like, at this point, I don't think we need Ormondal. We should have died of a stupid Narcomibus. What a ridiculous game. What a ridiculous, ridiculous game. What you got? Final Fortune? Sweet. So what you, what you, what you want? What you want? While we're waiting for our opponent here who's in the, in the tank, on our mind, everyone, all right? The holidays can be a... Never mind. We got white. Hold on. We were getting white screen of death. After the match, let's go. Maybe I'll reinstall Magic Online. I don't even know anymore. We won. Deothar, you're next to the bomb. All right, Deothar. You keep right on submitting. Just like rub your rabbit's foot or something before you submit the tech. Balloon, David. So we're taking turn to second Pioneer. Uh, nah, it's not enough time warps. Diothar, I do have bad news, though. I, I might need to cut the last match off, Diothar. Um, John's hockey game is soon, and I have to leave, and I can't risk into a match that won't finish because I have... He's at his grandma's right now, and grandma's bringing her to the game, and I have his hockey stuff. So if I'm, if I'm not there, he doesn't play his game. Uh, so I might need to cut the last match off. We could do it another time, or, uh, we'll still do the full, the full, uh, the full, uh, wrap at the end. This hand's pretty bad. Uh, I'm gonna mulligan. This hand just sucks. Just a bunch of lands. That's better. Keep this. Ship Narco. I think a push is nice, too, so... Yeah, I mean, by saying I might need to, I'm saying that I'm going to leave. No, no I'm, not, I'm not asking for anyone's permission, um, but but I'm just saying. Um, we, we will do the wrap-up after this fourth match, though. All right, so... I mean, we could leave open push. Killing power drivers is pretty important, but... Taking damage is also bad, too. Let me just tap land here. Let me get Wayfinder for a land and push. All right, so Mountain Mountain, Instigator, sure, sure, sure. All right, big money here on the Wayfinder. Let's go. Find the way. Watery Grave, Prized Amalgam. Okay, it's a decent hit. A decent hit. Legion Loyalist. Is this an intervening if clause? Like, if they attack with three creatures and trigger on the stack, I kill one of them, will they not get the uh, battalion? Judge! Creeping chill. Tilt. Yeah, I don't see an if. That would make battalion pretty awful, too. That'd be, that'd be a really bad design if they did that. So, all right, Wayfinder says... I mean, Sanctum is not good, so... There's Haunted Dead. That's pretty good. Um, right. We'll just shock and push the, the Loyalist. Yeah, it would be terrible design for Battalion if uh, 
if it if it worked like that, you just get blown out all the time. Searing blood, no. So what you what you what you want what you want? Goblin ringleader, there it is. Mog Monday, what a way to finish Mog Monday. They reveal. Goblin War Chief Stoke the Flames, Ramanap Ruins, Mountain. Sure. Alright, so we're going to kill the Legion Loyalist, which will allow our Wayfinder to block these 1 1s. That puts more cards in the graveyard, which is good, because we need more cards in the graveyard. Gurmag Angler. So we're going to discard two cards and then play Gurmag Angler, right? Discard. Do I want to keep Creeping Chill to cast it? I don't think so. They're playing Stoke the Flames and Searing Blood. Um, discard Haunted Dead. I guess we're going to hold the Creeping Chill. It's kind of weird, but... Angler says, uh, Sanctum. All right, big fish. Tap land. Your turn. Twenty nine two blockers. They're gonna go war chief powder 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 over kill you. No right to combat. Sure. No attacks. Love to see it. Yeah. Goblin War Chief. Sure. Yes, Hazard does not make much sense in their deck. Gather the pack. Alright, so we'll uh Salvage first. Uh, we had a, we had a driven to despair. That's pretty cool. Not that that's even really good right now, but um, all right. Gather the pack. Narc amoeba. I said narc amoeba. Come on, opponent. We got to roll here. We got we got places to go, people to see, hockey games to coach. All right, we're going to leave that. Actually, we want it in our hand. So there's a, we have a Haunted Dead. Yeah, we should want that in our hand. Whatever weird that is. Uh, all right. And then we'll attack with... I guess like the 3-3. Three, three. Next turn is Supplier and bring back Pro Haunted Dead, Prized Amalgam, Prized Amalgam. It's pretty good. I'm just gonna play it super safe. There's a war chief in play too. Maybe I should maybe I should have stuck with nothing, honestly. Another war chief, sure. And no follow up. I think we're dead. They have the cleavester. Maybe. So, discussing how to fix this deck. I think that we want to cut at least one pig and we definitely want to cut the the uh, what's it called, the uh, or the Ormondal land. Um, 
what can we do to make this deck more consistent is the biggest question. The consistency is by far the biggest problem in this deck. It's not even close. Um, I actually love Driven to Despair, and I want three copies of that card. Um, are there any other, like, self-mill cards you can play? Like, Commune with the Gods, or just, like, something? Embercleave, Ringleader, Blocker, Supplier... The Merfolk, all right, that was pretty good. So we hit the, uh, we hit this. That's one amalgam. We could just like hard cast creeping chill. Yeah. Should we? We can't. They just equip an attack. It's terrible for us. Yeah, breaking mills eight. Like maybe you want to be more blue. Alright, so they equip. We block with everything to kill it, I guess. I mean, Seder Wayfinder is pretty good. Honestly, Driven to Despair is a really good card. Emberclay is pretty sick. But now this amalgam, this amalgam is going to turn that amalgam, which is pretty cool, so. Heh. I hit two Narcanibus off of my, uh, my supplier. I'd say we've done better this game than the previous games. Um, all right, so... 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Not quite. All right, 9 to 4. Don't you mog me out here on Mog Monday, right? If they have the Surge card, we're dead. They don't. Alright, they're dead. That's game! All right, so not a great showing, but we did run pretty... I mean, this game we've run a lot better, and the deck looks really good. We've been just, like, putting stuff in play and going nuts and killing things. Um, but the, the the floor of this deck is very, very low. Um, its bad hands are really, really, really bad. Um, solving that's going to be pretty important if we're going to be looking at this deck as a, a thing we want to be doing going forward. So... Let's go real fast, and I really got to bounce. Um, definitely got to cut Decimator Providences. I want to add Driven Despair. Um, I think what uh, what Easy Mode was saying is definitely rings true. There aren't that many cards in the deck we actually want to draw. Like, this is it. These are the cards you want to have in our opening hand. And I guess maybe Decimator. All of these cards, especially these cards, we don't even want to draw them. Um, so, like, I think there needs to be more enablers. Like, but once we're playing the self mill creature, we got to be blue. So, maybe a color shift of some kind. You could also hybridize it, and you could be less all in on self mill and more of like a blue black aggro deck that has elements of the self mill, but isn't all in on it. It could be a thing too. 
Um, I'll work on this more. Honestly, Dio, I'm going to message you, and we'll work on it a little bit behind the scenes. Uh, definitely have four thoughts. He's in my sideboard. I want some some, some brutalities in my sideboard. Um, I don't love the Ashiox. Uh, probably too many Assassin's Trophies. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. There's definitely power here. It just got to rein it in and make sure so it's actually consistently doing the thing you want it to do. Dredge doesn't mind having cards in its deck. It doesn't want to draw because it never draws cards. This deck can't dredge, so it has to draw cards. So, um, awesome. Sounds good. That's it for your deck live. I love you all. YouTube folks, subscribe and follow and stuff.